This week on Greenfield's Finest Podcast. She have a history of family members dying in accidents or something? I mean, yeah, I don't think you really take need the a joke, history. Lady. You I know what? She did you a favor. She can't take a joke. You yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, should know you're that type of guy by now, though. But that's that's, right. all, that's right. all it takes. Sure, my wife's number is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, honey. Yeah. Both of you yeah. play here. Right. Like, I want you to, like, lick my nuts while your sister's greasing my root. Like, that's why we tied right. the knot. You know what I mean? Get her little mutated head over here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Greenfield's Finest Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Z. Bird Zidell. With me, as always, my boys are in the building. We got my main man, Angry John Rosado. What's up? We got Big Dick Shoals. <laughs> what's up, man? And then special guest... By popular demand, we got motherfucking Polish Hill Kenny up in this bitch. What's up, boys? What's up, Polish Hill Kenny? Yeah. yeah. Welcome back, brother. Glad I can yeah. finally make it. You guys have been begging me to come on. Like, yeah. 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 Glad I can finally make it. Help you guys out. No, nah, man. Where's Jack Welsh? Is he okay? Yeah, he got uh, got floor submersion. He got paint on his pants. So he <laughs> <come in. laughs> Fucking nerd. <laughs> he had to carry in drywall. Called it a day. <laughs> hey, that's a yeah. pop, real possibility. Get, get well, yeah. Jack. Get well. <laughs> get well soon, pal. We miss you. We got uh, uh, we got first <laughs> off we got a uh, Greenfield Science podcast comedy show coming up this Friday, April fifth, Square Hill Sports Bar. Uh, tickets available online at Eventbrite. We posted the link a bunch of times. Also, tickets are always available at the door. It helps better if you buy them ahead of time if you're coming, so we have an idea. But I understand some people wait till the last minute. It's no problem. We just want to see you there. It's gonna be a great show. It's gonna be myself, Billy Crawford, Shirley. Uh, we got. Uh, my buddy Marcus Cox and Chris Mons from South Carolina is coming up. It's going to be a great lineup, great show. Don't miss it. You want to be there. Also, we got coming up on April 27th at Soldiers and Sailors, we got Uncle Ed and the replacements. Everybody probably from Greenfield, the surrounding areas. Pittsburgh really probably remember, knows Eddie Jenkins. He was Eddie and the Bruisers for a long time. Now it's Uncle Ed and the replacements. They'll be playing at Soldiers and Sailors in Greenfield. All are welcome from 7 to 10 o'clock. That's April 27th. They're a great band. They play great jams. Good live music. Live music. Yeah. They take requests. It's a good time. You don't want to miss it. Uncle Eddie gets into it, too. Uncle Eddie gets into it too, so like you know, what I mean? he he knows how to have a good time. So don't miss that event. Um, we had Cage Rage this weekend. Me and Eagle Tits were down here. A um, lot of boobs, a lot of turd cutters. Seen a few shitters. Uh, a lot of punches. <laughs> several hundred punches to the head. Um, I gotta say, I had this time was probably my favorite one as far as. Being able to move around, there wasn't it wasn't overcrowded. Shout out to everyone that came. Big P. Gratton was down there. Uh, he brought like ten humongous dudes down there. That was fun. And uh, th- there were some girls just beating the shit out of each other. I uh, uh, I think the final fight, a girl got punched in the head and just started vom- projectile vomiting, and the <laughs> fight got called. And I will be posting that to Patreon. <laughs> yeah. The, which reminds me, if you want to help us out and support us on Patreon <laughs> and see girls puking in garbage cans, you can always sign up. Uh, you can sign up for free, but you won't have as much access. Um, but we don't want to eliminate anyone. But like, we have a five dollar tier, and then obviously we have a big dick tier. We'll be announcing our big dick tier today during the voicemails. We have a new one, and uh, we really appreciate everyone that signs up through Patreon. Um, so I'm going to throw it over to my main man, Johnny. Johnny, what do you got? What do you got first on there? All right. It's looking like uh, the April Fool's joke. A guy has a friend call his wife and said he was in an accident. The woman leaves. Yeah. So apparently I read this. All, this, this caused was, a divorce? This, I don't know. This was <laughs> April 1st, which yesterday it was on Reddit today. So this dude thought it would be fucking funny to call his wife and tell him he got in a serious accident. She got all like hysterically upset. Five minutes later, they called her back, like her husband called her, and she was like relieved. He was like, ha ha, April Fool's, and she fucking left. 
and he was like asking Reddit, like, what should he do? Everyone's like, you're a fucking douchebag. Did they say he died in the accident or he was just in a bad accident? They say he was in a bad accident. You need to get to the hospital. I mean, would she have a history of family members dying in accidents or something? I mean, yeah, I don't think you really take need a joke, history. Lady. You I know don't... what? She did you a favor. She can't take a joke. You yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, should know you're that type of guy by now, though. But that's shit. That's, right. that's all it takes. Shoals, my wife's number is. <laughs> I'm just kidding, honey. <laughs> the bus went over the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. I got life insurance. Be <laughs> right. That's one of them things. Like, what if she's just like really not that upset? And she's just like she was looking for like she's that's the other for a reason. What? Start checking the life insurance policy. Make sure it's up to date. She had that money spent. Yeah, I guess she bought the cruise. Still alive. Right. She's I'm, on her way to Barbados. I'm like a conspiracy theory guy, and I'm thinking like, what if one of his friends is fucking his wife, and they convince him to do this stupid idea, and they were like, dude, this will be hilarious, and then like she's gonna leave the 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 husband. And just start fucking the friend nonstop. Then on the other end, the I can see the other end. The friends talking to her like that's fucked up. You should leave him for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're working both ends. Or she's like, he's like, I got an idea. We're gonna fake call you with a fake accent. You're gonna act like you're so mad. You're gonna leave him. We can fuck now because he's an asshole. And like, I think that might be it. Maybe I'm looking too much into it, but yeah, I don't I mean, know. There was definitely trouble in paradise there if she's leaving her one right, little yeah, prank. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Sure. All right, Bucko Fever. Pirates are <laughs> off to their best start since 1984, 5-0. and oh. jo- Dude. Miracle well, season. Fucking, John, John is a loyal season ticket holder. How do you feel about the 5-0 and oh uh, start? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a patsy. I'm back in. I'm <laughs> yeah, in. I agree, dude. I'm like, man, I Bucko game yet? on today? Yeah, I, I've been watching them, actually watching the games. They came back the other day. They're scoring runs. So yeah, that, that Sunday game was awesome. I was just going to say. So, yeah. you got all three, John. Like, what? But Ben's Pirates and Steelers? Well, I don't. That's a company thing. I don't pay for them. So <laughs> if you ever need a game, let me know. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, dude, like, uh, I'm over, like, at my aunt Diane, so my uncle's here. My Uncle Nick's a big Pirates hater. Is he? My Uncle George yeah. is, like, the opposite. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he'll always just be loyal. And they were down, and Uncle Nick was talking a little bit of shit. Next thing you know, the rally yeah. just came out. That the play started going nuts. Dude, that was fucking great. Whenever they came back, and then and then when the dude gave up the dinger in the ninth, and it was 7-7, I'm like, fuck, because I bet on the Pirates. And then, like, when they come on and score them two runs, it was 9-7. I mean, Forget dude, I think ball, everyone Ricky, in Pittsburgh got to got ten- take their temperature because we all got bucko fever again. <laughs> it doesn't take much to get me back in. You no, know what I mean? win a game. People are like, they always start off hot, then they stink. I'm like, yeah. They you know do. what? Let me have this. Right. Yeah. There's some young players <laughs> coming up. Yeah. yeah. They got some. They got some bats. I mean, finally, it's a real early pitching. start. Penguins stink. There's no playoff stink. hockey. Pirates are five the and Penguins up. Penguins do stink. And I don't know how I feel about the Penguins. Like I'm just ready to be like, just it's done. Yeah. yeah you got to break it down. No, I've been off for about a, at least a month now. Like this, even they're watch. not going to write the ship no, this season no. for sure. Like. No. Normally now you're getting excited for playoffs. But then you you even watch a game and they're like, oh my god, it's three nothing. We got this. It's There's no period. chance. And they I've, fucking I've, I've never nothing. I've never There's seen no, no safe lead this year. No. You had no confidence ever I, this they, year. This might be the most ever like come from behind. Like so they're yeah. right there, but their power play stinks and they like they, they give, give up, up so th- many so many sh- leads. Like, yeah. They they give up fucking breakaways, two on ones, three on ones. They just can't get it all I, together. I don't think like coming into the season like last year everyone like Carlson was like the big talk and like I just don't think it worked out the way anyone thought it was going to work out. I, I mean I, I'm not like a big I'm some, not a Sullivan, hockey expert. Sullivan got to go. Right. right. They, they need some fresh blood. They say they, they don't want to fire him because he just signed, they signed an extension yeah. and they say this new ownership group don't like to like lose a lot yeah. of money like that. But any, same way, any, any other, any other hockey hockey games coach yeah. would have been gone. Yeah. If your I power mean, play stunk for three years. Anywhere. Dude, they didn't score in October or November. One yeah. of the months they didn't score a fucking power play goal. Uh, they're brutal. But the Buckos are not. They're not back. yet. I'll they're take back. it. Yeah, yeah I'll right. take it, man. I'll take they're it. They're killing it. Uh, so a girl with two <laughs> heads gets married? Yeah, so she's like this chick. I think I saw this pull, picture. Pull, pull this up later. I don't think either one of them are that good. No, they're both ugly. But, like, here's the hey, thing. She's happy. <laughs> they're happy on their wedding day. Yeah, so, like, so we were, like, w- so move it over so I can read it. So it says, like, because everyone's asking, we're just going to tell. It's like, yes, I have sex with my husband. You don't know which one's what. Yes, yes I do. I suck his husband. dick. You know, yes, my sister Brittany is there. Of course she is because she's are attached to the fucking neck, you fucking nitwits. <laughs> yes, my sister and I orgasm is one. But when I sleep with my husband, she's usually reading a book or listening to a true crime podcast. She just puts the pleasure out of her mind. Like, dude, 
Imagine if... Well, what's the point in that? <laughs> Dude, imagine... <laughs> yeah, I, I did this for a reason. I right. want both of you to yeah. play here. Right. Like, I want you to, like, lick my nuts while your sister's greasing my root. Like, that's why we tied right. the knot. You know what I mean? Get her little mutated head over here. I'm just coming home like this. Like, honey, I'm home. <laughs> I have two nuts, one for each of you. Yeah. <laughs> Come over, you little mute. And the dude, the dude looks like a fucking real estate agent. Yeah, like, he looks happy. He's he, into some creepy shit, huh? Oh uh, yeah, I'm. I'm sure. I guess they only have one awesome. butthole, one vagina, Fetish two boobs. But like, I'm not. I'm not into yeah, the two. Yeah, well, what's this lady gonna do the rest of her life? Just sit there while you get pounded? Like that movie like, stuck these on you. Ladies. Great movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's good yeah. shit. How do you decide? Like, how do you decide? Like, I'm gonna marry you, but you're just gonna come along for the ride. Like you've been treating, cheating on me with Brittany. Right. The bitches just here attached at the spine. Right. And that like, guy got to be slick to get away with that one. Yeah. Because, Shh, don't tell your sister. <laughs> I mean, look at their wedding picture. It looks so funny, dude. It's like <laughs> two little fucking mutant heads. <laughs> tell your staring. sister I was in an accident. For yeah. April Fools. We'll yeah. make it. It'll to work out for if us. If I'm the parent, I, I'm not trying to sound cold, but like I'm gonna, I'm cutting one of their heads off when they're little, and I'm like. So they can have a normal life. You gotta put that one is back. It, is that fucked up to say? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but everyone was thinking it. <laughs> yeah, I was just like trying to figure out like if they cut the one on the right head off, if they shift it over, you might have a normal looking person. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, like if, if it's a if it's a small kid, like there's wait. a surgery. They're like, oh, it's they them. Look, one of these weirdos with their pronouns. Oh wait, no, no, no it's no, literally that's they. good. <laughs> <It's> so- <laughs> Yeah, or you could like stick. They could your... drive an HOV lane, yeah. or like instead of like titty fucking them, you could just like literally skull fuck them. Like put their two heads together and put your dick in between. And you think there's any like two, head, two headed porn Z-Bird? They, wait, no, I haven't, dude. I'll I mean, be there. Gotta be right. Everything, be, right? everything that I've jerked off to, I've never ran into con- congenial twin porn. And uh, it's also a good South Park episode. It. Yeah, dude, it keeps fucking raining. Like I that might be well, you got a little twinkle in your eye over there. <laughs> like, girl, I'm trying to get some of that neck. <laughs> Yeah. All right. LSU <laughs> versus Iowa game. Iowa comes out on top this year. Yeah. Caitlin Clark, Clark lit it up. That dude, I was. There, there's. We're not going to get like to the whole thing because there's a whole nother part of that. Like we're going to save that. But like, good, good for Iowa. Good for women's basketball. Like that was the biggest watched women's basketball or women's sporting event, fucking of all time. And like that was like huge for that. Like, I get it. LSU lost, whatever. But like that like was just huge for women. People watching there was, that game. How many? Dozens. Dozens. Probably. Dozens. <laughs> it's like, I did, it was on ESPN all morning. Like, like a lot of like the LSU players. Like after Caitlin Clark would make a shot, they just look at each other like, "What the fuck do you want me to do?" Right. And then Angel Reese is crying because she's getting so much hate online. And I'm like, I'm tired of your shit. Right. Because Caitlin Clark's getting dude. A B calls Caitlin Clark. Ugly at least once a day. <laughs> he said the M- on Twitter. Well, well, he said she looks like Mel Gibson. He said the NBA should draft him next year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so like they're both getting. Uh, everybody yeah. gets hate on Twitter. Uh, fuck everybody. You know I mean? does. Don't lose and cry. Right. Yeah. Because you've been through so much. Like everybody's been through so much. You, Every, yeah. No. Especially going, when you put yourself just, out there by talking shit and doing things like now. Now you become you a target it, to all the haters. It, dude. I you get what you reap. Right. What you sow. I do like the shit talking. Yeah. Dude, dude, I, I like the the fact like it makes me more excited to watch a sport you, when there's some shit talking. You gotta yeah, be able to own it after you right. use up. Right. Don't turn it into like ah, oh, yeah, I've been through it. so much. Like me. Like, like, then don't talk shit. Even yeah, people dude. won't fucking bring you up, you know. Right, and that's the, and that's the thing. Like, like you like the attention when it's good. When you, right. you get your ass beat, then you you know you cry. I mean, that fucking Caitlin Clark's on soft. Do you think uh, like a good high school team of boys could beat the national championship girls team? I Probably. Uh, yeah, yeah. They were saying. Speaking of starting to hate, if I think you, I, I agree. This 100%. is a question online. Be close. I mean, it's good basketball. I've heard these, there's these, been debates. The like top people tier about women's this teams are, are very, very good. For women. Like, for, right. <laughs> but, like you're, you're saying like like a top-rated basketball. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. They smash them. Smash them. But yeah, like, I agree. As far as like, I think it's... The one thing about women's basketball, it's a good team sport. There's not like like there, yeah, there's a Caitlin Clark, right? But like for the most part, it's like a there's a lot of passing. Even, evenly and, matched. They were saying... Uh, who was it like the women's U.S. soccer team was getting like they got their ass beat by like boys high school. Yeah. Fifteen yeah. year old boys. Yeah. team Played. Yeah. That's just how it the, is. The women's national team scraped their tits. Literally. That's, a, that's a shame because I'm such a big fan of Megan Rapino. <laughs> she's a real class act. Yeah. Purple haired fucking Pur- cunt. I wish she had a double head. <laughs> fucking freak. Like, hate both of them. <laughs> yeah. Hate both of them. 
Dude, so, but Caitlin Clark gets $5 million offer from Ice Cube to play in the Big Three. Yeah, so I didn't even know what this was, so I had to do research <laughs> on it. Either. So the Big Three is like Ice Cube has a league where like it's like a three-on-three league. They offered Caitlin Clark, it's men and women playing together, it, or, you know what I mean? And they offered her $5 million to come play in this league of three-on-three, and he was like, she's a generational talent. Like for a It'll season? be huge. It, and like, dude, I'm making may, way more, more money. That's they, more. Than, they said the they, WNBA don't make. A, they said they make six thousand is the average uh, for the WNBA. Well, no, well, you'd be a fool not to do it, though, right? And she, no. She's getting five mil. Here's yeah. the thing. Here's Play a, a season. Here's the thing about the whole. There, she's gonna make her money. Like the WNBA yeah, right, is gonna right. do whatever they gotta do to get her and Angel Reese into the WNBA on separate t- conferences. And to, so they can make it like somewhat interesting, because no one knows fucking. And I can't name. And this isn't talking shit. I can't name one WNBA player right now. Now, like if Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese go, everyone like then you know two, right? And, <laughs> but, but like people might watch that. Like oh, they're playing for the finals. Like people I mean, might might actually watch it. I don't know. I, I think they'll push that, them indoors games. But the Ice Cube thing. I mean, I don't know. I That's mean, hard money to pass up. Yeah. Right. I, I mean, there's not much I wouldn't do for but five she's, million. She's probably right. getting, she's probably getting a bunch of endorsements. So, I don't know. She's making money. I mean, how much? I mean, that, that'd probably be more popular playing Ice Cube's tournament if he yeah. promotes it than the WNBA with she, the endorsements. She'll yeah. be literally the face of the league. Wear your nights in the three right. on, or what is it? Three uh, on three. three. Yeah, it's pu- fucking sweet. Like dudes playing it, like you know, like JUCO dudes, dudes that. Ju- Dudes that could, are like borderline NBA dudes, and like they have some women in there that are really good. Yeah, she wouldn't last long there either. Actually, she would be getting shot down. I mean, well, there's women in they're, it too. I think I think other guys too. Like right, right. yeah, yeah. The argument that she could play in the NBA is stupid. Too. Yeah, that's yes. that's just that's just something. They... It never goes the other way when the guys are are girls. And they go to the sport, they dominate. But no girl is going to guys ever dominate. Right. It's right. just not, you know, that's just why that, too. Yeah, like when that dude. It's just not the same. When that dude went on that swimming, he, he became a swimmer and won a national championship. Yeah, he was <laughs> ranked 427 it, amongst men, men and number one against women. Yeah, the, the aerodynamics of his wiener didn't slow him down. <laughs> yeah, it was like women. a fin. Couldn't even pass yeah, the, yeah. He couldn't pass the deep test at McGee, but now he's the women's <laughs> national championship. He's a fucking fugazi. What's this AB NBA needs to draft him? Talking about Caitlin Clark? That we just mentioned and that. And the George Pickens tweet? Yeah, the, yeah, George. Did anyone see George Pickens tweet about AB yesterday? So AB retweeted it. It said, like, best wide receiver. It said, and I don't know if it was an April Fool's joke. It said, no arrest, no controversy, no drama, best wide receiver of all time. And I'm like... He wrote that about himself. That's the criteria. He to, wrote about A B. Did he answer? He po- and I'm thinking, wait, like, wait a minute. I, I'm yeah, like, th- like this has to be able to fool. Like, this dude's been arrested a million times. Drama. I mean, and there's a million comments under What are you talking about? Like, I still think A B is one of the best receivers of all time. But like to say those three things, it was like kind of but A B retweeted it. Yeah. I thought that was like yeah, I think they're the tight. criteria for the yeah. answer. Like you, you know, you couldn't have any rest, no drama, no nothing. Like someone's just trying to get a white guy for the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, Pittsburgh ranked number three for best cities for homeless. They still wouldn't get it. Yeah, so they were uh, they were saying uh, there was a, one article came out and said within four years, I think it was sixty five percent of office space downtown will be vacant. Yeah, I mean, I thought it, I think no. it'll be sooner than that. To be honest, with you. a lot more people like work, it is now. Like a lot more people working from home, but they're saying like Pittsburgh's COVID like took care of that. there's getting more like they're enduring to the homeless, which is like not a great. So they're thing. gonna let them live in the abandoned office. Well, here's the thing: I don't give a fuck. What, wouldn't be homeless. Now. I don't get a fuck what they say about cities being the third best. It gets cold here. But that's still not a right. good stat. Now, if you want to take care of the homeless <laughs> no, and you want to use some of this commercial real estate that's went to dog shit after COVID, right. well, then do that. But they got to be looked after. You can't have the wild no, west. No, no. Yeah, old right. coffins building a well, no, that, they're saying, look, what will happen should be run is, like a prison. Yeah. There's yeah. already people squatting down. Dude, when I, I'll tell you, when I worked at Coffman's, when they tore it down and redid it and built those condos, there was people living in there. Squatting, squatting. While dudes were work, like we'd get to one floor, to move them around. Like, come uh, on, guys. Like, mm-hmm. like, dude, there's this dude Lenny that came in every day, and like, you know, he like lived there. 
because there was like shitters <laughs> there. There was no lights. No one, like, dude, he didn't change his you clothes. You talked about Lenny on here before. I remember nah, you talking about Lenny. No, it's a different Lenny, Lenny dude, the rascal. This is. Uh, <laughs> I need a guy that you guys were watching somebody sunbathe or something. Yeah. Lenny told you about him at Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I did bring yeah. up Lenny. No, you talk about him on DVE. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the other Lenny. You got yeah, a good memory. It, he's a fucking pervert. Oh, you got a great memory for stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> But dude, he was like living in there, and they were like, you know, what I mean, like every, and then like people's lunches store come up missing. To, from he's still off the Ukrainian <laughs> dude. Yeah, Lenny's yeah. like, hey guys, Lenny guys, do your work. Me casa, a su casa. So they hired <laughs> they hired Lenny to be like a security guard, but the, the problem was he was like ninety five pounds and addicted to like crack. So like he was stealing everybody's tools. Yeah, yeah. he stole everything. I'm like, why is Lenny like watching? You know, you went there. There was no cop. Hey, go past me, guys. I'm sorry to go if, past me if again. You, if you seen Lenny right now, you would. I would guarantee you'd look at him first thing pop in your head. Like, he, there's no way that dude's allowed within five hundred feet of a school. <laughs> like that's the vibe he gave off. You know, what I he's mean? not allowed at any scrapyards or schools or playgrounds. No. <laughs> <laughs> At all. So, uh, all, all right, right, Eagle Tits, let's get some voicemails. You got it. What is up, Greenfield's finest? It's me, Waterboy's daughter. I just thought of something <laughs> really, really crazy. Did you guys ever use the bathrooms at school? This is like a really, really big controversy in the, like, in my school. And a lot of people say, yeah, we'll use the bathroom, but we won't go poop. Some people use the little luxury bathrooms by, like, the little, like, language rooms. And some people just don't go to the bathroom at all. Me, personally, I really do not care. If I have to poop, I'm pooping at school. I do not there you care. Go. So I just want to ask right. you guys, because, I don't know, maybe you guys are crazy or something. Bye! <laughs> yeah, Waterboy Jr. Great question. Yeah, uh, Water I, girl. I, I, think, I think for dudes... It's t- like for dudes. I mean, we'll sh- some, you gotta shit. You gotta some shit. Dude, some dudes, I know dudes will like no matter what, they they have to shit at their own house. Yeah, really? I mean, uh-huh. I feel I avoided at all costs. But you yeah, gotta go, if you, you gotta, gotta go. shit, you gotta shit. Yeah, I've worked outside my whole life. If there's a f- running plumbing, I- I'll use yeah, it. All, yeah, all the better. Right. When I was at Alderdice, I had it locked down. By the time I was a senior, there was a second floor bathroom in the annex. Yeah, yeah. But it was only open at certain times. Really? Yeah. So yeah, I, w- I would have my own it. toilet paper underneath the pee trap. <laughs> And go poop. <laughs> Sometimes it works. You got to know where the maintenance bathroom is. It's less traffic. It's a little cleaner. Yeah. It's better. I mean, it was enjoyable. Nobody would come in there. I felt like I was in my own little world. Remember, dudes had the keys to like the teacher's bathroom. I thought didn't some, I never had. That. I didn't have them, but I remember dudes would be like, they had a shit that I'd seen someone ask someone like, you got those keys. People would try to extort you for it though. Like motherfuckers that wanted could make money, some money on that dude. Key. Yeah, right. And like, yeah. dude, I'm, I'll fucking shit on your lunch. <laughs> You know what I mean? But I'll go shit right in the you, field. You house didn't want to go like where there was like a main bathroom that everybody. No, because then you're gonna, then you're gonna get fucked. There was the fifth floor it's one. Water at the you fifth sh- one on the annex, it, fifth floor, like that. That was like a huge bathroom that there really was never anybody in. If you could get out it, to the field and go shit at where yeah. the locker room was, that wasn't. Yeah, not no so much the public there. bathroom I, is the problem. It's the I, public bathroom because yeah. that boys will fuck with other boys. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna be a water if you're like taking a shit. Yeah, somebody's gonna fuck with you for sure. There was well deserved. There was a little place by. Our high school called, on both ends of that. called the Italian dog that was owned by a terrorist and uh, <laughs> Bruce Ed. <laughs> Ed was his name. Okay. He was like, "What can I make you to eat?" You know I mean, he just probably had something to do with nine eleven. But he, uh, <laughs> I would go down there and shit all the time. You know, what I mean, like that was like my hangout at school and shit. But yeah, if I ever had a poop in school, uh, I guess a fun fact: I was working for Shuley one time. Um, hopefully, you never do drugs, Water Boy Junior. And uh, <laughs> I was addicted to heroin, and um, I didn't have any, and I was gonna shit my pants. So I went in under a pine tree and shit, and uh, the pine tree didn't cover anything. Like, anything. It just so, covered his head. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen the rest of his body? And that old lady covered came over head. and started squirting my feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, so what are you? Was, like, what are you doing back there? Yeah. Like, leave the kid alone. He got the fucking bubble guts. Yeah. I was like, and I, I was like, He's I went fertilizing through, this tree. Yeah. Need, needless to say, we didn't get any more work on that street <laughs> <laughs> they got people shitting under trees <laughs> they did a shitty job <laughs> boys it's Yosh hey big John I'm a truck driver in the same city Kenny drives a bus I got that same built up anger I'm not just some steering wheel holder my trailer gets emptied by hand and dolly brother uh, I love that I'm the underdog because uh, in the UFC the underdog prevails a lot. So yeah, let's be honest, I don't like that. I'm and uh, Kenny, I didn't think you were afraid of the North Side. I was just saying I ain't no schmuck from the suburbs. Everyone from the North Side is schmuck. I hope your dick isn't getting too with the way these boys are stroking your freaking ego. Jeez. 
Yeah, it was weird that Kenny. We had Kenny on this week, yeah. So we'll get Kenny. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll go straight to Kenny. I mean, I, you know, you don't have just because you're from the north side doesn't mean you're. A sh- oh, wait, let me say this right. You don't have to be from the north side to be a schmuck, but if you're from the north side, you're probably a schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> he so, was. Uh, he said he was lived in Greenfield for two weeks too. Is that? That gives is that, is that credit. enough time to give him credit? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ask you guys. I don't it know. It usually takes about two months. Uh, yeah. I would say two weeks ain't a lot. <laughs> I, fun fact: I never told you guys this before. True story. I was on the Greenfield Cougars for one practice. What? I swear to God, it might. I swear to God, it might have even been the '95 year. Did you guys get new uniforms every year, or was that like a random thing? Fuck no, we didn't get new what uniforms. Right? I had a green uniform, green pants, and green shirt. We I went to one practice, and they gave me a uniform. Did it have the paw print on your thigh? Uh, I don't know. I think, I think it, it did. It, yeah, the yeah. 95. It looked like a pit thing. It was just, gr- it was yeah. just the, yeah. the lettering. It was just the numbers. It I was said, I think it's a it's green, green field and yellow letters. And, and then there was like, gr- yellow was like netted and numbers at the bottom. Here. Yeah. It was yeah. like the most uncomfortable jersey. They gave me jersey. a uniform, and I went to one practice, and then the second practice, I went to come back. I didn't want to go to practice anymore. I wanted to play or something, and I cried, and my pap let me quit. Who was <laughs> he? Do you remember the coach? I got a uniform and everything. Do you remember the coach? So I'm just saying, if that counts, I got a practice in, so fuck your two who was the coach? Because this is blowing my mind that you play. I have no idea. I don't know. Some big dude with a beard or something. Probably smoking on a field. Black dude or white a dude? A white dude. There was a black dude coaching the younger kids like across the way. Yeah. But I was in the, I think I was in the middle. I'm all at 42. It would have been. It had to be the same team. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It could have been the possibly the ninety five to go. Shoot, Bobo, but I got a, a, a shoot. Green... Brother had a beard. Uh, yeah, like a Mike. goatee, but he didn't smoke. But how old was he? I, I want to say this dude was like old, like a like a you talk about Coach age. Gene. Who my cousin? Gene had like a he had some facial hair, right? I mean, yeah, like but he was 20, fit. he didn't smoke. Or nah, he was fit. Tim the Gore. Smoke. Tim was a maniac. I just remember a bearded guy talking, like he talked to my pap, got me into practice. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I never played anything before, nothing, and then <laughs> I had to leave like night swimming to come to the next practice. This and is I was fucking like, fuck crazy, this. dude. I yeah. can't believe I said, it. One practice, what? I don't. I'll never come out. You got to let it come up organically. You can't I, just how force the fuck these did stories. You, if you lived in, <laughs> did you live in Polish Hill? Polish Hill, yeah. And plus, I was, was far. driving you all the way to fucking My pap was. He would have loved it. Pappy, <laughs> my pap was. Uh, he would have loved it. Yeah. <laughs> What, they he had come no every football practice. teams in Polish Hill? No, fuck no. There was like 10 of us. <laughs> <laughs> We're lucky we had a baseball team. We had like a Pony League team for a year, I think. You know, we played in Bloomfield. <laughs> Scoops Plus won a Little League three years in a row, by the way. I'm just <laughs> yeah, you left a major dynasty when you quit that team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true. I mean, imagine that. We could have been friends then. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, Cody from Wexford. Uh, after after all of the, the great responses to these possible... Fight, uh, fight night. Um, I'd like to say that I am in the medical field, and I'd be happy to lead the medical team uh, and uh, uh, get things rolling with that. Um, looking forward to it. I hope it somehow happens. Love you guys. Bye. Thanks, Cody. We I was a cut guy. Yeah, like I mean, if we do it, it, it definitely that would be helpful to have someone there. Like, <laughs> so if, no one dies. Yeah, like I mean. You know, I mean, if someone gets fucking knocked out yeah, or something, well, you should be concussed for two days. <laughs> 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 but I think I think we gotta fun. work and see if these lawyers work it out. Yosha's people have been talking to my <laughs> people. We're trying to work out a deal in a venue. You know. What up, boys? Eric from Fort View. <laughs> Got to jump on the Kenny train, man. We got to <laughs> definitely talk about this Kenny and Yosh thing, man. Like, <laughs> See, he is right. I, I'd rather Riding people you, be Bubba. like, you I do want to be the underdog. We got to find out a little bit more about Yosh. We do. I mean, we know a little bit. We got to find out a little bit more. And honestly, man, I, I ain't trying to get too involved, but I don't think Yosh got that dog in him. Old Uncle Kenny. <laughs> oh, <No, laughs> shit. <laughs> Like, cuz, I pulled up next to a Pat Buddy driving a truck and trailer, and them motherfuckers scare me. I, pull, I, I pulled back and let him pass. Let him have the lane. <laughs> Golly. But, boys, uh, Golly. if I can, z question for you, brother. Um, I know you've been doing a lot of shows and that. Like, how could or how does one, you know, of course we reach out and get a hold of you, but, like, if we want to put a comedy show on, like, at a fire hall or something, like, how do we go about doing it, or what you do, or you can fill it in, you know, fill us in on, like, how to do that. Um, I got some ideas brewing in the old melon up there. Um, 
boys last week. This guy's killed it. Hilarious. Do it to it. We'll see you next week. Once again, Team Kenny, bub. Let's ride. <laughs> Dude, so uh, so first, like, yeah, I'd love to do a comedy show, especially in the summer. I'm always looking to book as many places as possible. Uh, reach out to us on social media. If you have a Facebook, uh, you know, my name's Mike Zidell, I'm easy to find, or Instagram, Greenfield's Finest Podcast, Twitter, Greenfield's Finest Podcast, anything like that. Um, if, you, if you don't have those, call next time, call in one more time. If you don't have no, and I'll get a hold of you, and I'll give you my phone number. My phone number was up on the thing, and then people just started hitting me up for random shit. It just got, it got to be crazy. <laughs> I had like three dudes ask ask me to like borrow money. The one you asked for a ride to fucking Altoon. It was just crazy. <laughs> like I, I just but some and the weird thing is some of it was good. One guy met I hate to say I forgot his name, met me at Kogo's and brought me down a thing of baseball cards and Pokemon games and I ended up like selling them making a couple bucks. And some of the other calls were cool. And me and Gary got like a lot of shit in common. Like crazy Gary, dude. Like we like actually text back and forth now, you know? Some kinda of, I don't hate it, but like too many people had my number and I, it was my own stupid fault but yeah I'd love to come do a show and um, yeah let, like that's like something Kenny kind of said B- bus drivers gotta deal with the public you know what I mean and like you're constantly I'm sure ar- you're getting in an argument every day I rode buses for well you don't that's why you know you gotta be professional so it kind of like you bury that shit deep down <laughs> compartmentalize you, know, hey, you, know, you ever like lost your coal and like I, I mean not me technically you know some other people might tell people yeah. to fuck themselves every <laughs> once in a while you know yeah. you know you hear the same thing a hundred times like oh oh oh, your past just expired like it's like all of a sudden that'll make you blow up yeah. <laughs> get the fuck out of here like, come on and yeah so behind like, the line <laughs> whatever shut the fuck up i don't care what line. your story is Sit down. You're not fooling me. <laughs> Quit telling me your story. You can't ride for free. Dude, Shut my, the fuck up. I used to, dude. My favorite thing getting on. Up, I used to sell my bus pass for crack and or, <laughs> or heroin. But the methadone clinic would give us a free bus pass, and then I'd still end up selling it, and I'd have no way to the methadone clinic. Like, and, <laughs> and then I'd get on the bus every day, and I'd be like, I'd do the old fake pocket check, like, yeah. And you'd already be moving, and I'd be like, dude, I fucking yeah. forgot my. Bu-. And you'd be like. What twenty nine days in a row? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> whatever. Then people go in like I only got two dollars. Like, where else do you go in when it says two seventy five and you go in with two dollars? Oh fuck! You know, you. I mean, it's the bus. Everybody does it. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't tw- care. But I, you're, like, you're not getting over on me. It's not coming out of my pocket. But right. like. The ch- the best when you start dropping change like real slow, the bus driver uses just, just go, just go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go, sometimes go. sometimes you sit there and wait them out like you feel stupid. Go ahead, you can wait the whole line behind you. It's your fault. Yeah. They all hate you. Everyone's beeping behind mm-hmm. you. And shit. <laughs> I get paid every minute over time. I'm late, so you know. Go ahead. Sometimes I got a podcast to get to though. You gotta hurry to fuck up. Hey, what's up, bro? It's scary from the hallway. <laughs> Fucking Gary, I knew this was coming. Uh, so Gary's so, calling yeah. out dude from Aliquippa. Dude from Aliquippa, like, and I, like. The dude said he was golden glove, didn't he? I met, I know the dude from Aliquippa, like, I physically have met Aliquippa, dude. Gary's, like, insane and said he was golden gloves, too. So, like, I don't know, this could be, like, a great Have you fuck. met Gary? No, I just, on the phone. <laughs> like, I have, like, a picture of him in, in my mind. It's not yeah. what you think. I've seen a picture of him. <laughs> Is he normal size? <laughs> yeah, he's normal you... size. He looks very normal. It just way he he, got... I picture him be real small and right. real thin. Like, no, like he's, like, a dirt. normal size dude. So, like, Gary's saying he was golden gloves. That dude's saying, that dude was golden gloves. 
Like I don't mean to say it like I do with say like I believe Al Quip dude, I believe Gary, they're both golden gloves. Me and Yosh just became the undercard. We got two real <laughs> yeah. fighters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, yeah. it's like this is gonna happen. And then uh so yeah, we'll definitely my yeah. man from Al Quip he'll I will we'll, tell you one thing, he, he ain't got no bitch in him. So like this is definitely gonna go down. <laughs> so you grew you grew up in Al Quip, you you've been in a few fights. You definitely <laughs> throw some fuel on this fire too. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Yosh? Yeah, so definitely <laughs> call in next week. My man from Al Quiver, call in, please. We want to hear your response to, to Gary telling you to suck his dick up. <laughs> no, <I'm good>. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to get hurt. Boy, <laughs> Kenny, first of all, and Jack, you said Yosh in uh, Zillian Opal training like Rocky. First of all, if anyone in this situation is going to be Rocky, it's me. I'm Kenny from Polish Hill. I'm a proud Polak, but I'm also just as Italian as I am Polish. I'll be damned. If I'm not gonna be Rocky Balboa in this situation, <laughs> I can cook. I can make the best pierogi you ever had, or I can cook the best sauce and meatballs you ever had. I'm that good. So I'll be damned if I'm Rocky. Plus, if I'm not Rocky, plus Zillian Opal might as well be fucking Russia. I can run up the city steps here in Polish Hill. They're even talk of a fucking Kenny statue going to the top of the steps. <laughs> yeah, I want to have recreation here in Polish Hill, so I'll be damned if I ain't rocking this fucking situation. I had a whole other voice to talk about. I don't know. That's all. Maybe next week. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. <Yeah. laughs> Good call, Kenny. <laughs> and even again, everyone's talking about me being a favor. This is like Rocky. You don't like it. He was stealing Opal makes him draw good. That's Rocky Four, which ended the Cold War, by the way. We all know that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, now I'm the favorite, so I'm like Rocky, and he's the underdog. He's like Clobber Lang, you know. <laughs> There, Jack's talked about trim, filming me training and shit, yeah. you know, get me out in a fucking fancy you gym like and shit. I got to get back to the basement. You I look like tiger. Tyson Fury as it yeah. is, though. <laughs> you definitely do. 100%. So, yeah. So, baby, dude, we don't know. Like, I'm, like, like I said, I, I'm, I wish I didn't like Yosh. Yo, you know, yeah. Like, <laughs> yo, yo, you know, he, he ain't done nothing to make me dislike him. That's all right. It, yeah, it's all in fun. And, and uh, it'll happen. It'll still be a good time. It ain't like you dudes are going to stab each other. And I, we we will have oh, a medical per- side. That, yeah. me- medical person. There. That's gonna yeah. be on the Patreon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little worried for Gary. This smoke coming back next week. Well, dude, I dude, like. Here's the thing. Like, I, I'm I'm excited to hear what Al Quipa says about Gary. Like, I because he's gonna fire back yeah. a thousand percent. Al Quipa doesn't. I, I don't mean. feel like he's gonna go for humor. No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> he ain't gonna call in and be like, "Hey, I was just listening. I got a good one from Gary." I feel like he's gonna like he's gonna, ma- he's gonna, he's gonna you, message me. Like, he might try to fight him outside the podcast. Yeah. He's gonna <laughs> feed you your Alequip, right. motherfucker. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, I'll meet you anywhere, anytime. I, I feel yeah. like he's gonna message me and be like, "What's Gary's number?" Yeah. <laughs> you, know what I mean? <laughs> you said he's uh, your friend. I need to find yeah, this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm friends with Alequip too, so like, you know, I mean, they're both my boys. So, but uh, yeah, that, that's all we got. Eagle tits. So everybody, I, I just gotta give a big shout out to everyone who calls in with the voicemails. I can't tell you how much we appreciate, man. We love the voicemails. We love this whole idea of the fights and everything. This is great. Keep it going, please, please, please. Uh, <laughs> the voicemail number is four one two four three eight. Eight three five eight. That's four one two four three eight eight three five eight. And then a big shout out to Big Dick Tier member Richard White. Richard White, welcome aboard. You and your big old Dick Tier. We really appreciate <laughs> the support on Patreon. Uh, we've been picking up people, and like I said, we get to a hundred. We're at, I think we're at seventy two right now. Can't wait till no, everyone six, sees that six tattoo. Of those are free members. Yeah, you gotta, you, be, gotta be pay, you gotta be. Yeah, you gotta be paid, but. Uh, pay free. But you're getting closer to Larry taking off his shirt, and then you're going to see his tits. Winged and nips. What is it? Winged and nips, right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Eagle Tits here. Time for your favorite part of the show, the ads. Our sponsors help keep the show going, so if anybody that we talk about interests you, please go show them support. All right, let's get into this. Located in the heart of Pittsburgh's south side, 12 Whiskey Barbecue features 100 bottle craft beers and 28 drafts from local and indie brewers. Their kitchen's open late, and they have a crazy good menu. On top of that, they have events at the bar, as well as offer catering. Birthdays, weddings, business events, and more, they've got you covered. Check them out at 12pgh.com, or visit them at 1222 East Carson Street. That's T-W-E-L-V-E-P-G-H dot com. Primetime Appliance. You've heard us talk about them before. Their company puts the customer first. They're punctual, and they take their time to get the job done right the first time. 
cooktop repair, dishwasher repair, dryer repair, electric appliance repair, freezer repair, gas appliance repair, refrigerator repair, washer repair. I could go on all day. Have an emergency? Call them at 412-896-1395 or visit them at primetimeappliance.com. Do you love hot sauce? Do you love the city of Pittsburgh? Then why not try a sauce made right here in the city? That's right, I'm talking about Artie's Hot Sauce. Our buddy Artie currently has seven sauces available. He has Arbel and Sandy, Habanera Island, Teriyaki Thai, Pizza Shop, Sweet Jalapeno, Hop and Jalapeno, Triple Pepper Fret, and Hot and Sour Serrano. All crafted with no artificial flavors, with hand-picked selections of chili peppers that guarantee an unforgettable culinary adventure. What are you waiting for? Visit Artie'sHotSauce.com. A-R-T-I-E-S HotSauce.com. Nothing beats a local neighborhood butcher. Locally sourced, pasture-raised, nose-to-tail meats. They connect the farmer to provide customers with the best beef, lamb, chicken, and pork that Western Pennsylvania has to offer. The craft of whole animal butchery requires respect for both the animal and the customer. Come see the different satin bags. Visit them at 5151 Butler Street, Pittsburgh, PA, 15201, or check out their website at fatbutcher.com. Let's talk Carlson and Associates Real Estate Services. Located in Pittsburgh's south side, they specialize in all aspects of real estate business, including residential and commercial sales, residential and commercial leasing, multifamily investment, historic buildings, and development in and around the city. Have a question about home buying, selling, or rentals? Give them a call at 412-431-1718 or visit them at casouthside.com. That's casouthside.com. We got some new sponsors to this show. Welcome, Matt Rosado. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about Matt. He does everything from simple handyman tasks all the way to kitchen and bathroom full remodels, full room renovations, decks, big old decks, the whole nine. He has a buddy named Ryan. And if you mention Greenfield's Finest Podcast, you get 10% off. And they renovate with confidence and trust at Ram Remodeling at 412 425-7321. That's 412-225-7321. And get rammed. (laughs) I was going to say, you you like have to. Yeah. (laughs) Who's ready to get rammed? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, Spearmint Rhino, guys. We got the Cage Rage coming up March 30th. If you want to come, get on the guest list. All you got to do is DM Greenfoot's Finest Podcast or on Facebook, DM Mike Zidell or Greenfoot's Finest Podcast. Let me know you want to come. We're allowed to bring... Is uh, pretty much as many people as we want. You get in for free. You have to be there before midnight. That's the rule. There's no way around that. It's $25 admission, but if you come in on the guest list, it's free. Xanos, on Monday, it's Wing Ding Night. Dollar Wings from 6.30 to 9.30. Wednesday, Taco Night, which we've already talked about. is $1.50 Tacos from 7 to 10. Friday, April 5th. Karaoke is back from 8 to 12 with motherfucking DJ Holland. And then 420, <laughs> DJ Holland will be in the building cranking out all your favorite hits from 8 till midnight. Happy hour every day from 4 to 6. Half off select advertisers and 50 cents off every draft. Go down to Zano's Pop <laughs> Come on, that's good material. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield Smash Podcast. We're about to jump into Corn Dick of the Week. Angry John, who be corn dicking? All right. A scientist confirmed people can smell when it's going to rain. Is this really what we have (laughs) scientists for? Yeah. Like, what the fuck was... I fucking read this article that got sent to me, and I'm like... I've heard this my whole life. People, like, have said it. I remember... uh, Rest in peace... Kid from Greenfield, real good dude, Mike Janeski, used to always say this when I was a kid, and I thought he was like, make it, but people can't. They're like, you I, can, I yeah, can smell definitely. it. You, yeah, or see, the, or see the sky turn dark or, and or gray. You feel, or you feel it. Right. You can like right. feel when it's going to smell like moisture. It smells like, like gray. It's a good smell. Yeah. 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 I got a funny story about that. Like, when, when me and Addy. I, I was going to say. When me and Addy, my, my <laughs> girlfriend Addy, sell, first started, we were first started dating. We were probably like dating for like a month, and we're driving. On um, getting ready to go over to Homestead High Level Bridge, going back over to Homestead Munhole, and the sky was literally black, and there was lightning, and she was like, "I get this weird feeling sometimes, and I can just tell it's gonna rain." 
I was like, oh my God, are you fucking wow. serious? <laughs> you was must it be the, a psychic. Was it the fucking lightning bolts or yeah, the fucking yeah. 90 mile an hour right. wind or the 70 year old lady that just flew across <laughs> the fucking bridge? Like, are you serious? You can tell when it's going to rain when you see clouds. All right, but the street lights to, are on and it's 3 p.m. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honey, you got a gift. Did you just hear that Wizard of Oz music? Right? Yeah. yeah. The tornado's <laughs> coming. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. might fucking hear that tonight, they said. Dude, I, like just got, yeah, I just got an update said a tornado watch for West Mifflin. Oh, sweet. I wish scientists could, like, maybe figure out how to get hair to grow on the back top of your head. No <laughs> shit, John, I'm with you. And that's what, what do they do? Yeah. Is there uh, no research yeah, money? Let's 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 prove stuff that everyone knows already. Yeah. He's funding and nothing this that fucking needs. research. This you know is why I mean? they're yeah, 100%. We are paying I'm, taxes. I'm I'm going bald. John's going bald. Kenny's bald. Eagle Tits is bald. Surely's the only fucking dude with hair here yeah, so a four hat. out of five like a so jerk. I, I just did a study and 80 percent of men are bald or going bald <laughs> why don't we focus more attention on that like i could ask fucking jeff smiley in the morning and he's gonna be like it gonna rain you right. know what i mean yeah i mean you know what else is <laughs> fucked up too the gene that causes baldness is the same gene that causes like a hairy back so really? you've got a hairy back and a bald head or vice versa a lot of the time like really? these guys that don't no hair on the body beautiful full head of hair I swear, uh, the one thing I've been fortunate, I, I, I never had a hair on my back, unlike my mother. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, Mom. So fuck, so I shouldn't have said She'll be fucking, I'll be fucking getting a voice, a call at 3 in the morning waking me up tonight, or tomorrow night, you know, telling me what a piece of shit I am. But no, <laughs> my mom don't have a hairy back. If she does, I don't know. i never seen it. All right. Drug-addicted lab rats released in Connecticut and are apparently dope sick. <laughs> Upwards of 172 mice, rats, and salamanders <laughs> believed to have been used for FDA approval for new painkillers. What? Well, like, here's the thing. Who's the asshole that released them? Yeah, what happened to good old days when you just used to kill the rats when you were right, doing Right, yeah. Now they're Dude, suffering. They got the shakes. Dude, some that's what, liberal well, that's fucking... What, well, they said, like, the only reason they find out is be, correct there's bullshit. literally, they found a bunch of, like... You know, rodents and salamanders just like laying around, big, like 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 they were heroin addicts. Like you can't move. <laughs> yeah, they got diarrhea. They're and all the, chills. The one salamander <laughs> they was like trying mini to methadonia. Yeah, <laughs> the, the one salamander. They wanted to see what they do. Like if they form up with like and they like, start sucking each other's dick to try to get painkillers. And I don't know. But I'm like, what kind of fucking ass? I mean, that's cruel punishment. Get a get a, a salamander addicted to heroin and then just and, cold turkey him. Yeah, it, <laughs> little fellers just like all green that, walk around. That, he had the life getting they, high whenever he wanted for free they and then they up, just release him into they, the like wild. them mice they always, remember them like back in the 80s they had them commercials like look how addictive cocaine is and the mouse would just keep that button I don't blame yeah. them yeah. you know what I mean it was good I did the same thing I called uh, this guy all night I'm no. like I was like a mouse hitting it's, that it's usually thing. you gotta hit nine buttons to get yeah. that motherfucker are you up you still up what do you mean at six in the morning you're sleeping come on dude, dude coke dealer are you uh, yeah you piece of shit and it was like no I don't have any money <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> we mean, dude. My favorite would always be like, "Yeah, I'm good. I'll be over." And a dude would give it to me. I'm like, "Dude, I swear to God, I'm getting a check tomorrow and just start take off." But like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> and then avoid them for three dude, months. All the rats are breaking into CVS. <laughs> yeah, dude, then so you gotta avoid them till the next paycheck, and then you go like, "Fuck, I gotta pay for that last shit." And then I gotta get this other shit, and it's not gonna be enough shit. <laughs> if anyone sees any uh, dope sick salamanders or anything, like squash them. Yeah, squat. Put them out of their misery, or take them to the method, or throw us a box at them, let them fight it. over yeah. it. Give them a sublingual. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, new TikTok challenge is taking handicap spots. What the F is going on? <laughs> Old man smashed window of a Honda Elantra and was videotaped because his wife had MS. Had to park far away at a Kroger's in Wisconsin. The phone has since been confiscated and no charges have been filed. I it's love fair. that. It's fair. He busted the window because someone yeah. parked in a handicap? So what happened was these kids were filming the reaction of older people coming up and like being like, yeah, you because know, they were like standing there with, like on purpose. They yeah. wanted people to yeah. looking see. for confrontation. Yeah, that so ain't funny. Dude, That's just rotten. The, uh, a yeah. late, uh, yeah, like I, kn I have friends with MS. You know what I mean? It's hard to like. It, it, the older you get, the harder it is to get around. And like, fucking, your wife has MS, and you got a, you're parked in the front. Now they got to go in the back, and these dudes are sitting there laughing at you. Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And he smashed a window. Good for him. They should have smashed, smashed one of their faces. I was just gonna man. say they, yeah. they ran. Yeah. I, I seen the of course they should sucker of course they, 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 they ran, but because the dude he had like he had like something in his hand, and he fucking just threw. He, I, I can't. You know they have like those uh, islands with the Ron Stones? Yeah, in them, river like, rock. like a river rock. River rock. Yeah. He smashed it with a fucking river Good. rock. They videotaped it, 
and then like it went on to say like the kids like tried to get him in trouble and the police like confiscated their phone and then they, they know they're, they're like, you're not phone charged. Yeah. Well, you know what? That radio, that, that video got erased. Do you yeah, believe that? We well, have no fucking, we have no recollection of I, this whole I, ordeal. I, I'm a big fan of Wisconsin now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I like Wisconsin. Like, yeah, so <laughs> right, <laughs> right. They were, they were, you got busted headlight too, and it's fucking yeah. <laughs> like in Porky's. Porky's yeah. tearing them up. <laughs> Porky's might be the fucking most underrated like, movie ever. What was that last Great. week? They were punching the girls looking on their phone and shit. I seen yeah. another video. Yeah, I could kind. I mean, that's fucked up. Too, but I could kind of say the humor. I kind of laugh at that. Yeah, but, little bit. You know, people with that mess, that ain't right. Yeah, you go an old lady with that mess is different than a young chick. Yeah, yeah. Don't punch her. Don't punch. Her. What are you, an animal? Yeah, you gotta make sure between twenty and twenty-five. If you're gonna punch yeah, her. able body. They can take body. They can take a, they can take a punch. Right. All righty. LSU coach didn't realize they were doing the national anthem. During that period of time, has co- been coaching since 1985. Yeah, so LSU yesterday did come out for a national anthem. This is nothing, you know, people sometimes protest or whatever. D- just say you're protesting. You know what I mean? Like, Don't play stupid. You I think that's been their for policy years. for a long time, though. That they, okay. They never come out. They don't. Uh, okay. Well, that makes sense a little bit. The, okay, well, then, 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 they're, then they're not. So what's the story? That, that, well, I was saying. They, no, well, I, see, I see with the same thing you did. Yeah, they, they didn't say they that. They made them seem like they walked off the court. Yes. After warm-ups, they go in the locker room. They just took it. Which you should be out ready for, for a national game, anthem. Yeah. But that's probably their bullshit way of just avoiding it. Of yeah. avoiding the conflict yeah. of like we're staying, we're kneeling, we're doing it. We're, right. right. Yeah, but the way it was presented in the article I read, it seemed like, like he did it on purpose. Yeah. and he was stupid. Yeah, and yeah. You know, he tried to say we didn't know they were you doing know, it. Right. One thing though about shit like that, like with articles and things, they try to get us to fight it's with each other. Absolutely. Yeah. They, they want yeah. uh, they want the left and the right, the white and the black, the the men. And the, they want us to fucking hate each other, and so they like, per, like meanwhile, like this article was like yeah, they've been doing it forever. So right. it was not like John just said. I just was, read a couple comments because I'm like, this is the same old bullshit. Did they really walk out of the national anthem? And the one dude who must be like an LSU fan watches every game. He's like, dude, they do this every game. Yeah. They, so like, I, I'm that makes me mad. And they also like, so like they could have been doing it long before Kaepernick, right? Or it, you know, some of them teams they were like, just to avoid all this bullshit, yeah. controversy. We're just gonna be inside. Yeah. Well, that's kind of pussy shit too. But at least it's consistent right. and not a new story. Right. Yeah, I'm, I, and like, dude, they was that me and you talk about that lunchtime the, the other day about how like so many percent of uh, like websites that promote media like that are like Russian bots. There's Russian bots and there's Chinese bots. Well, just, they just want us to fight with each other. Yeah, because right? right. you're, you're, you're too busy worried about fucking some stupid shit like that than the real issues of the fucking world. Right. Like, the, like yeah, they're like they having an internet, ignorant public. And yeah. then there's the internet idiots. anymore where I'm like. I don't even know what to believe. Right. It's hard these like, days. Dude, I don't, don't even know. know what the hell is real. Like, is Puff Diddy, is he going to jail? Is he not going is to Jay-Z jail? Is Jay-Z going with him? Uh, uh, Jay-Z, did, did he, did he, the did, kids? Did, is Jay-Z, he I don't even know why his name's in it. They didn't really bring it out against no, him. No, and that, that's the thing. Is Diddy, Diddy like come Epstein, out where he got dirt on everybody? Well, there, well what happened? So, okay, so like, we're getting on. But no, we'll talk about this. So, Jay-Z, every year, has this thing. It's called... Uh, like it's like I think it's like a brunch for black men and they get together and it's like supposed to be like, like a positive thing well he cancelled it this year because he wanted to distance himself from P. Diddy he didn't want to not invite P. Diddy so he just like cancelled the whole thing then Beyonce after like she recently won that award he had an, an after party didn't invite P. Diddy P. Diddy got fucking pissed at him and said I can't believe you're ending our friendship blah 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 and they got like major beef so there's major beef, but I guess it but was. But I don't pretty, know what Jay Z. I didn't did. realize how like yourself, pretty though. well known yeah, it was, I mean, like, what Diddy was about. Yeah, I mean, I, you I, you've been hearing rumors since freaking the '90s about P Diddy. I didn't. I, I really didn't. Remember I didn't. Tupac said that he said, "You know, when's your sweet ass gonna come yeah, out they of the closet?" That up. But <laughs> see, like that was like a thing back. In, like you're right. They, so they did say that, but then like. Back that then, that was like a, part like a of, shit talking yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not like there's visual evidence of him having sex with men. That's because there wasn't that many phones back then. Yeah. Dr- <laughs> well, he recorded <laughs> it all, so it's like he got dirt on anybody who was doing anything. Right. Bad. And that was, yeah. Right. Is this dirt coming Oh, yeah. Out? They said there's cameras in every room of his house. They yeah. Like when they read it. Yeah. Yeah. The like politicians. But, like, he's out Make in Miami. <laughs> they shut him out in Miami, like, dancing around his house, being all goofy. Yeah, they said, yeah, and his lawyer came out and said it was excessive, blah, blah, So, like, well, Kanye well, it all too unfold. Bad now, huh? Or, you know, I mean, you see, everyone see what happened. Epstein went to jail and then decided to kill himself. Wait, <laughs> yeah, wait, right, wait, right, wait. Right, right, yeah. All right, so we got brother-in-arms. 
dude claiming to be Jesus broke into Pizza Hut and called the cops on himself. Yeah, later you got that video? Yep. You think Jesus really eats a Pizza Hut? No, well, it was Friday, Good Friday, so no, he wouldn't have got pepperoni. <laughs> wait, wait, good man. Yeah, third crust cheese. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, this is Jesus Christ, and I just broke into the Pizza Hut. I broke the window in, and I'm here. Jesus is here now. He's back He's back to earth. <laughs> All right, and uh, so you don't work there? <laughs> no, I just broke in, had a pizza. I'm Jesus. <laughs> and what was your name again? My name is Jesus. <laughs> What's like, your Jesus last name, Nazareth. Jesus? Jesus of Nazareth. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dude. and what do you look like? Your savior. I look like Jesus. <laughs> what else am I supposed to look like? Why would you do that? Because I'm Jesus. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> We're tired of Judas is on this earth. <laughs> We're going to clean this earth up. So what One are you up to? Man, where do you live at? I don't. I'm from heaven. <laughs> How'd you get over, over to the Pizza Hut? <laughs> I'm from heaven, sir. Okay. And did you break a front window? Yeah, I broke the door window, sir. <laughs> and you eat a pizza? Yeah. Had a Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> of course he did, dude. Jesus is a you legend. You have a Mountain Dew. That's why he had to be in Brother and Orange. He was like, he was like, yeah, it was a code red. Here's the you, fact. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he, the, I love the Mountain Dew is the best part. And he said, what's your last <laughs> name? He said, Christ, dude. Uh, the, if he would have said of, of Nazareth, what do you think it is? If he would have said, where do you live? He would have said, Bethlehem. I would have fucking lost this it. This is like uh, serendipity or whatever. I ain't had a Mountain Dew in years. Look at this. Are you, are you uh, Jesus? Jesus <laughs> talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> They're putting up a new pizza hut down by the garage here, too. Are they? <laughs> yeah, it's on uh, Fifth Avenue, right past East Liberty Garage. Oh, wait till Jesus finds yeah. out about that They're one. putting a new pizza hut in East Liberty? It says Pizza Hut, and it looks like it, something Dude, there used there. to be one there for years, dude. Well, on the Rosado Rosado family. Boulevard. Yeah, the Rosado yeah. family oh. spent... I've had a lot Tons of, of nights there. Was it an we, had, we would do the lunch one? buffet. Oh, yeah, we're going to sit down. And eat the lunch buffet, like everybody trip away on Bob Boulevard. Yeah, yeah. It's that fucking paint store now. Yeah, it's like a Sherman, Sherman Williams. Williams. Sherman Williams, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. It's a damn I'm shame. Glad to hear that. The, the I hope it's a, it looks like a storefront, though. It doesn't uh, look just like delivery. A, yeah. The Dude, set, the the McKnight Road had a good pizza hut, too. There's one in Breezewood. When I go to Ocean City, we always stop there. You, talk, you hype that one Dude, up. Dude, it's good. Yeah. It's clean. Everything tastes, you know, as it should. The, I, my, favorite, my favorite pizza hut was the old one up, up by Century 3 Mall. Lincoln like Place one. No, uh, no, the Century 3 uh, Mall I, I went there. I, that one still might be open. Dude, that one in there... Didn't uh, when I went in there, the booths has, haven't been changed since eighty one. Still got the cups. They were all last cracked forever. and shit. Oh really? They yeah. still they had, they had seven. Up I gave the lady the like a like a just a normal tip, and she came up and thanked me like I just like gave just her a mortgage. Oh, dude, <laughs> there ain't too many ten percent or twenty percenters. She those. was like, like, Jesus just came in here. He didn't even leave a damn tip. He just broke the yeah. door and stole Mountain Dew. He, yeah, he said he's gonna forgive he said, my yeah, sins. Yeah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Golfers oh. in Idaho arrested for smoking weed on golf course. Kind of shit. Yeah. They can't do nothing no more. So, dude, in fucking <laughs> Idaho, these, like, two dudes were just, like, smoking weed. Other golfers started bitching. Literally, the police... They pulled a car. Yeah, yeah the police went... Than smoking weed fucking up on the, the greens, course. man. On the course, the police, like, literally came, like, you're under arrest. Like, Idaho fucking... Or, like, what century are they in, dude? Like, I thought I thought everything was, like, legal now. What happened to minding your own fucking business? Right, like, dude, dude, <laughs> golf course dudes are drinking, doing whatever to get you through the round. It's a golf right. course. You've got dudes, like, blasting music off their friggin' thing. You know, some... If you're out there doing T-bumps, yeah. you know, yeah. then maybe you can do something. Yeah, Mind your own fucking tell him, tell him, business, hey, pal. don't do that here. Dude, dude uh, you, you skipped the one story. Which one did I skip? On chick, chick. No, chick thought Peeping Tom was hot and wanted to bang him. She held him captive and called him Peeping Bay. Yeah, put the, you got that video, Larry? <laughs> you know what, she raped this dude. No, you'll see. It's chick... This is going to start becoming peeping Toms now. Tom peeped the wrong <laughs> window. Like, I'll I'll sh sh listen to this I'll shit. show you a pervert neighborhood been talking about the peeping tom for like two months now but i ain't never seen him so i thought the story was a myth he never came to my house until today and then i almost went to jail for it <laughs> because when he came to my window i was just laying down when he came to my window i thought it was my boyfriend coming back but it was him so when i had opened up the blinds i'm like and then i got a little scared but he looked so good <laughs> like y'all, that's why I say his name need to be Peeping Bay. He looks so good. <laughs> I had opened up the window and I'm like, "What's up? Like, what you got going? What you trying to see?" The man ran. So what did I do? Because you at my house in my yard on my property, 
I went and got my Glock, my Glock followed behind him. I ain't know if I could say it online. This line. Yes. Good. <laughs> but I went and ran behind the man. I wasn't playing with him, and I made him come back in the house. <laughs> show me what you're trying to do. Like, why you look at the windows? You found the right person today. Show me, show me your reason for doing it. Give me, give me some, something. The man so fire, I couldn't think straight. I ain't never in my life had a man come peek through my window. I love it so bad. Then he ended up calling the police on me with his Apple Watch. She was like, How you calling the police buster. on me for kidnapping you when you was the one looking through my window? You just brought me a gift. It's been months. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't really been months because my boyfriend, we broke up months ago, and I'm just trying to act like I've been celibate, but I'm not. It's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> but anyways, like, yeah, I was oh, excited. Sure. And the police officer, they was going to lock me up for kidnapping until they heard the story. Dude, I mean, this is fucking great. Dude, th you can't make that up. No. You know what I mean? She called him Peepin' Bay. She was like, oh, he just looks so good. <laughs> she was like, I held him at gunpoint, made him eat this pussy. <laughs> yeah. He definitely ate grease the root. He dude. had to. That mm. was the life or death situation. It never happened to old George McFly up in the tree. Yeah, yeah that old creep. <laughs> he just <laughs> fell, hit his head, and ended up getting married. <laughs> that fucking pervert. That worked out for him, too. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was, was kind of lesson we teach everybody. Like yeah. If you ain't doing that. They need to marry with children episode lesson where K, uh, Peg wanted to peep and told him to peep on her, and Al tried to do it, and then they set him on fire. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. all they need to show. You know what's funny, dude? Imagine being this, this fucking broad's boyfriend. You see her on the news like, I mean, he was so fine, though. Or, like, it, what the fuck? I or, just left. Or when she said, me and my boyfriend broke up three months ago, but we, I'm supposed to be celibate, but I fucked like right. a couple weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'll be fucking a peep and Tom. She, yeah, like, she's trying to fuck dudes. Yeah, like, the peep and Tom, though, she's like, yeah, what's up? Like... Yeah, I'm kind of like the peeping Tom's a corn dick. I'm a there's gonna I'm be guys. With him at all. There's gonna be guys that ain't scared of pussy that are going up and knocking on their window like, "Hey, I, I look as good as peeping Tom." But she's up? gonna have so many people yeah. knocking on her window. Be a line dude. around the block. She wasn't like terrible. You <laughs> That's know what, what I mean. mean. There'd be dudes be knocking like, "Hey, you could take me hostage." Yeah. She was like, oh, I just like people, but I was like, dudes looking at me through my window. I didn't realize. She was know. like, what you got, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I, that was fucking she great. She was like, come on, bring that little limp dick over here. Dude uh, uh, gambling uh, uh, on sports <laughs> to support his six kids have a foolproof betting system betting on transgenders in sports. That's, so, I saw so, that. Bro, that's brilliant. Dude, so that, that dude went in front of fucking like a town hall Congress thing yeah. and was like, yeah, they were he's like, you need to make gambling legal in the state so I could support my six illegitimate children. And then he went on to say like, I got a foolproof system, and everyone's like, "Okay, dude." He's like, he's like, he's like, I want a shit ton of money on that dude that swims with the women. He was like, "Man, I made it." He's like, "I cleaned up betting on Leah Thomas's big ass." Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, "Dude, this is dude." Uh, and, then, and then he said, "Every college team he bets on." He said, "I go for the blackest team that I can fucking find." And he said, "The sweeter the berry, the, yeah, yeah, the blacker the berry, the, the sweeter the juice. juice." And he was like, "The better the jump shot." Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that dude was great. He was fucking great. Like I don't know if he was running a bit or like he, he was like dead serious. But either it's, way, it was fucking it's great. Like got six kids, two boys, two girls, and two. Uh, yeah. So it's cool. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. He was like, he was like, man. He's like, you guys can make money too. <laughs> Seriously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I didn't see the video. So it's Steve fucking great. Steel called Dana White, Joe Rogan after a two-hour podcast. Thought it was Joe the whole time. <laughs> this was awkward. What's Joe Rogan's? dream what's joe rogan's dream <laughs> joe rogan dana white what's dana white's uh, dream what a buffoon did you just think I that totally was joe did. rogan i totally did she just called me fucking joe rogan <laughs> you thought it was fucking joe rogan yeah i thought you were joe i was rogan. bald no. before joe was ever bald. i know, I know. She just did a two-hour fucking guy. podcast i flew here from from <laughs> vegas and, and, and she Jesus. thought she was interviewing joe rogan <laughs> 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 That's fucking uh, great. That's Is he shit. wearing socks? To be honest, hey, did you ever get that there, uh, Kenny? Joe Rogan? No. Or <laughs> Dana White? Yeah. Tyson Fury? Dana yeah, White? Yeah, yeah. Could be all of the above. I mean, I fucking felt bad for it because she was like, fuck, She dude. did seem... She seemed like I I don't know if she really thought it was Joe Rogan the whole time. We had been talking about him before, and she just slipped. <laughs> she, yeah. like, yeah, she was like, "Yeah, she was like, all you white guys look alike." That's exactly. To me. But they fucking. Like I mean, they're built similar. No, they do. I mean, you know, they're both like meathead looking white but dudes. If you're bald head. If you're Dana White, you're like to hell of a look. He recently came Maybe out and said, tits. "I hate doing podcasts." He went and did a podcast, and then he called him <laughs> Joe Rogan at the end. He's like, "They didn't even fucking want me here. They want Joe Rogan." He's that fucking been here for two hours. <laughs> That's beautiful.
Say, a uh, small town in Arkansas refuses to let Hooters be a booster for high school after male students allegedly got drunk there and had sex with waitress. All students involved are over 18. Yeah, that, that's fucking crazy to me. Like That's like a movie right there. Right. And I'm, <laughs> dude, and I, dude, my whole thing was like, you're a small town in Arkansas. It was on Reddit. Like, let the fucking, take any money you can get. It's the poorest state in, in, the, in America. If they're, if Hooters is buying you guys jerseys, fucking take right. them. Right. A fundraiser is a fundraiser. Right. If, the, if, the, if a waitress, if a big in waitress at Hooters wants dick down in Arkansas. What are they called down there? The 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 hogs? The razor razor. razor yeah, back. they all got hairy backs. Should be called a, <laughs> should be called the cock blockers, no. <laughs> yeah. So I mean dude dudes are get props. That's to, a big win for an eight year old to take down a Hooters fuck chick. Yeah, Depending dude. on what I mean. It, it doesn't even matter. Guys, girls. it'd be a big win for a forty two year old. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. You're, you're, 18. It, you're eighteen, dude. No, it doesn't high school. Matter. I mean you know that's I mean? beautiful. Yeah, yeah, high school, you're the legend. Thing in no doubt about it. In Arkansas, you might have dudes that are like thirty in high school. Yeah, I mean they said above eighteen. They didn't say eighteen. Fucking barnyard animals. It was and every student. It was, it I t- knew my third senior year was going to work out nice, honey. Yeah. It like went down Hooters. You had go a 12 pack, you know what I mean? Voted. Yeah, and the son was down there like, Dad, what are you doing at Hooters? He said, I told you, I go out of study hall third period. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> <"All right, get, laughs> Who the hell else is going to go buy bullets for this gun? <laughs> He's like, I gotta wash dishes down there. I may as well fuck the waitress. He was <laughs> like, I had to bang that lady I was peeping on the other day. You believe that? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't, They didn't show the the chick they banged. I just visualized it was a biggin. Oh yeah, she's she's a pig. Like one that <laughs> stretched sure. out them you orange think they shorts went out for the weakest the weakest lady. Yeah, like them orange shorts. I mean, they just did tell the story. It's the Hooters waitress. They didn't show the picture. <laughs> yeah, where's the picture? Yeah, they, they, I guarantee you, them shorts are like a fucking homeless man's tarp. You know what I mean? Like uh, they, yeah. like Tent City. They're just it's just a big. Who was just you know? The, I mean, thread, the thread counts she's, being stretched. With she's the head with, with grease con- with grease on her shirt. Fuck, it's a wing sauce on her tits. Yeah. I mean, they had to be giving it to her good though. She was willing to sponsor the fucking team. Well, she was just you know, working her. that shit. <laughs> yeah. She was like, I'm buying everybody kids for the basketball <laughs> team. Yeah. So that was uh, yeah, that was a small yeah. Good for Hooters, bad for <laughs> small town Arkansas. Man from Germany marries half sister after they took the DNA test. They. They were 75 years old. At what point? At, at that point. At that point, who cares? Right. So, like, for the dude. Why like, would they take a DNA test at 75? Because they, they still had no, that blood test, right? Well, no. Did you get married? Yeah. They, they, ha- they weren't married. They didn't get know, married. Asking, I don't know. Did you ever get one? No, we don't have to get one. They yeah, didn't get one. married until they were 75. Related, they were both I widows in a, in a little time. No, they quit that years ago. Right. They were both widows Sorry. in a little time in Germany. And, like, they got married. They were, like, going to get married. And, like, somehow, some way, they end up, like, Finding out they were half brother. They half invited everybody to the wedding, and it was just one side of the family. <laughs> yeah. Where was your side? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, nobody's on the other side. Yeah, yeah, right? Why is everybody on both of our That's sides? That's my side. That's my side. If you're like 75, like, fuck it. You know what I mean? That yeah, yeah, you ain't procreating. Yeah. Right. You don't have to worry yeah. about the retarded kids. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, your parents didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's true though What do you got to lose Dude, I'm ready to just get a DNA test I Always find, Seems like somebody finds out Something crazy Every time they get it's one a, Yeah I wish so I was that twi- like That's the bad side Of that 23 in me and shit. Uh, Yeah I need like a 46 in me To find out who the fuck my dad is <laughs> I have no fucking clue He said a 46 <laughs> Auto and Sons Landscaping Big enough to serve Small enough to care They offer landscaping, pressure washing, snow removal, gardening, lawn maintenance, sod lawns, complete insulation, shrub maintenance, retaining walls, complete spraying services, and more. They put in the work so you don't have to. Transform your yard today and call Rosado & Sons Landscaping at 412-521-9045. Tell them Z-Bird sent you and get a special discount. Need the move? Call Miracle Movers, 412-419-2620. They're a team of experienced and professional movers dedicated to providing clients with the best possible service. They will work with you to create a custom moving plan that fits your specific needs and budget. They're also fully bonded and insured. So give Miracle Movers a call, 412-419-2620. Having electrical problems? Don't know where to turn? Call Vance Hall at Plug Electric, 412-298-6770, 412 412- Two nine eight six seven seven zero. That's Vance Hall at Plug Electric. Car problems suck, especially if the problem is too big for you to fix yourself. You don't know where to take your car and you don't know who to trust. Well, let me talk to you about Meineke Car Care. Located at 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin. 
Oil changes, brakes, maintenance, pretty much anything you need is in their wheelhouse. So if you need a hand making your car problems suck less, call Meineke Car Care Center. 412-451-8968. Ask for Arthur. 412-451-8968. Bath Factory and Windows. You dream it, they build it. 412-951-3939. From your bathroom to your windows, transform your home with Bath Factory and Windows. You can also find them at bathfactoryandwindows.com. 412-951-3939. 412-951-3939. Are your steps and sidewalks starting to crack? Do you miss it when they actually look nice and clean? Call Giuseppe and Sons. They handle repairs and replacements. 412-421-6711. These are the guys you can trust to help you with all your masonry work in the Pittsburgh area. That's Giuseppe and Sons. 412-421-6711. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenville Science Podcast. We're about to jump into what's grinding our gears. John, what's grinding them gears? Johanna. (laughs) (laughs) And grinding. Dude, so we're going to dye eggs on Saturday. She gets like four dozen eggs, boils them up. That's a lot of eggs. That's a lot of eggs. You think you'd have a lot of coloring. <laughs> she like didn't pick up a thing from the giant eagle. She like did all this because Chris, Christmas or Easter's the new Christmas. Yeah, mm. go out, get the girls. They gotta get their outfits. They gotta get this. You gotta get the you know, whatever. Buys everything except like uh, the dye. Dye. So what'd you do? Food coloring. There was like four cups of food coloring. You've just been eating r- like, fucking whole sucks. boiled eggs for the past three days. Yeah, I get the, you know. <laughs> them farts, them hard boiled egg farts or something else. Yeah, dude. I'm just like, what, what are we doing here? Yeah, she right. got four she dozen. Got dude, they're, they're in the front eggs. of every store, them paws things. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, they got yeah. them little, like, yeah. you, like all the, you put the, like a little outfit Design, on the eggs. Yeah. 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 Let's have a little fun with this. Yeah. yeah. I got three colors and a wax pencil. <laughs> she, yeah, she did right on it with a crayon. Got one of them ones. It turns the egg and you just had markers. You can like design it like that. Yeah. Oh, excuse what, I mean, there are two. So High it was class. like nice. They weren't going to fuck with dye. They would spill it all over. Yeah. You know, that was the best thing to do. And she did four eggs. Yeah. Two for each. That's it. Like, uh, we did Yeah, it. I can't eat that many eggs. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? That's uh, a I lot got, of I got a million. Eggs. I should have brought some in. Yeah, the Joe's passing out hard blows. Nobody's there. We will eat them either. Cool hand Luke. Fucking challenge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we'll right? three dozen. That's Do- all I got. Dr. Scholes, what's grinding them gears? This one is not even me. This is actually Rose's gear grinding. Uh, so, like you said, Easter's like the new Christmas and everything, right? Never crossed my mind that I was like supposed to get something for my fucking wife. Like, what, am I going to hide your basket, too? What are you uh, talking no, about? no, I mean, the oh, kids you are one what? thing. Come no, no, no. She, so, you know, the girls do their thing and, like... I could see the, the glimmer of disappointment in her eyes. You know what I mean? I'm like, what's, what's, what's up? She's like, you didn't get me a Cadbury egg, nothing. I'm like, mm. I'll, I'm sorry, Rosa. You're 42 years old. I didn't right. realize I had to fucking buy a, a, you know, a Cadbury egg mm. for you. She, wanted some she Easter was like, no all. jelly beans. There ain't nothing. Like she, mm. The rest of the day, she had like a chip <laughs> on her shoulder. Steal your kids' candy. Yeah, right. You bought it. Buy the like, shit be, you be like. Be an adult. Yeah. Steal the kids' candy. Oh, yeah. dude. She right. had a chip on her shoulder. I still got Halloween fucking... candy at my She house. wanted mm. Easter nog. That's what so I said. I was like, there's Easter fucking egg eggs in there. Oh, dude. <laughs> Rosa in the nog. That's Is another... she off the nog? Dude, that's you know, all she does would make more sense for Easter. She's so nog, 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 and I have in store. It would make more sense. Yeah, She quit everything else. That's all she got left is nog and Cadbury eggs, dude. Cadbury eggs, like, filled with nog. You know what I mean? Dude, Cadbury eggs are fucking both gross. They're gross. Both gross. And Rosa was so mad. I was like, I don't even think they make Cadbury eggs anymore. Yeah, I ain't seen that commercial in years. With the lion at the bunny years old. Yeah. Yeah. But she was furious. I'm like, please tell me your fucking joke. Oh, and then she got me on fucking Rosa's favorite day of the year is uh, April Fool's Day. She loves the fucking. She got you. Oh, dude, she had me furious. Did she have someone call and say she was in an accident? <laughs> yeah, and I left her. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she got me good, dude. Something about fucking uh, money in, in my checking account. I'm like, motherfucker, I just put fucking money in there. What are you talking about? And, and I'm like, okay. I'm out here in the rain right now, and you think it's funny to joke about this right now? Like, I'm I, I'm ready to drive home and throw a Cadbury egg at you. You know? <laughs> <laughs> rough. Been a rough two days, pal. <laughs> this was a rain. The rain. This, this joke would have been funnier in the sunshine. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, right. I'm outside, fucking getting rained on. Like, what the fuck? Why yeah, she keep calling always, me? Dude, sometimes an April Fool's joke goes sideways when somebody takes it too seriously. Uh, right, yeah. You calm down. I'm yeah. Kidding. I'm oh, kidding. she had me hot, dude. And then, and then she was like, "April Fool's asshole!" Like texting because I hung up. I was pissed. You know? yeah. She was like, "April Fool's, no, you fuck." Is she consistent every year? She got you with something? Not every year, but. 
she fucking must sit there and think about it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. she plans this shit out, dude. It, it's never the same thing. And it's something that you're like, fuck, it's, this is kind of believable. It's a good dude. one, yeah, The right. one day, That's she tells me she got a flat tire the one year. I'm like, don't burn bread on yourself, because then you're really right. going to get a flat tire, and I'm going to be like the girl to cry wolf Karma. and leave you there. <laughs> On the side yeah. of the road. Yeah. You better hope yeah. that triple A's paid up, cuz. Yeah, you got to load your car up with some Cadbury eggs. You'll be <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> Big Cam, what do you got? Uh, I have a wife one also. <laughs> uh, well, first, I, I told it's her the today, holidays. I was calling her work. I said, I'm not going to be home. I got the call. I have to answer. <laughs> yeah, but... So then she hit me with the, oh, whatever, joking around. I said, watch your tone. You'll end up as a fucking gear grinder, baby. You know? <laughs> but, um, Turns out she has one anyways. <laughs> she has her coat. She goes outside to smoke. And uh, you know, she, the coat she wears, it's like on the chairs where the kids eat and shit. So it's just, sometimes the kids get a mess on it. And when you're wearing it to go out and smoke, big deal. No big deal. Yeah, a little Then she's wearing her smear. smoking coat. Like, it was cold. We were going to a party. I'm like, dude, you got shit all over your coat. <laughs> she's like, oh, this is the one the kids get on her. I'm like... Okay, but like, don't don't embarrass me. We're going in public. <laughs> you represent me out here. You got my last name. <laughs> you know, like fuck. You don't have like a going out coat in a closet. <laughs> yeah, right. And then then she went to work on Tuesday with a different coat. She come back home and I'm like, there's shit on this coat too. <laughs> I just washed the other one. What are you doing, babe? What are you dragging your? Yeah, coat I mean we food? have a washing machine, a dryer <laughs> machine. They both work. I'm happy to throw it in for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Don't you embarrass me. Clean yourself up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, I know you're married. You're not there. I'm glad you're not putting it out there. But like, you know. Yeah, right. You make some other guys jealous a little bit. You know? <laughs> Have some <Yeah>. dignity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, my, my gear grinder is my mom. So like every Tuesday, my mom will text me. Can you pick me up and ride me to Greenfield? And it's like the, I'm, I'm coming that way. So I'm like, yeah, yes, I'll come get you, of course. And every fucking week, I would say nine out of ten times, she calls me at like 5.59 when I'm like about to be like right in front of the bar she works at. And she's like, oh, never mind. And she like has done this now for like four. <laughs> so I'm like, I I'm just not coming to get you anymore. She's like, well, my friend showed up. We're going to hang out and drink. I'm like, I know that because you are an alcoholic. Like, <laughs> as, this is going to happen every time. Because like literally I take you from one bar to another one. Like I drop you <laughs> off here and then you're going to soldiers to sign the book. Like, you know what I mean? I don't mind giving you a ride, but you cancel. I hate you canceling every time because I leave a little early and then I have to sit here with eagle tits. <laughs> And we don't have nothing to talk about, and it's a little awkward. And then I'll have to go out in the lobby. I'll fake piss, you know, go hide in the go hide in the bathroom for three minutes because I've already been with him Saturday for four hours. We don't have nothing to talk about, and then, like I pretend like I'm looking at my phone in the bathroom. Someone tries to come in, but it's all would have been timed out perfectly if she would have never said, "Come get me." You know what I mean? I'd have been like, I've been here at six forty, but every week I've been. I usually come early anyway, but like. I've been coming earlier because I'm supposed to get my mom, and then she literally cancels at 5.59. I'm like, she messaged me. She knows she needs a ride at, at, at noon, but she don't message me till 5.30. So I'm like, all right, uh, yeah, of course I'll come get you. And every time she, I get to, right by there, and she goes, I, I don't need a ride, never so, mind. So you giving up, dude? You ain't fucking pick her up no I'll more. pick her up. It's my yeah, mom. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, I, it's my mom. you'll be mad for one week, and then you'll do it so again. So the time when you're she, late for the podcast because you had to turn around because she did it, need to ride. And Where you at? <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, like it's my, my mom liked to have a good time. It was the age. She could have just easily caught an abortion. So, like, I owe her one. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> she, she needs a fucking Happy ride. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> you know what I mean? She That's needs a good a, way to look at it, Mike. Yeah, she needs a ride. I'm like, yeah, at least you didn't have me sucked out with a vacuum. So it's like, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean, or a coat hanger, whatever the yeah. fuck they do. But like, yeah. I mean, that's why we have Mother's small Day. Small victories, yeah. Michael. We all could have been victories. stabbed with a coat hanger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. So we'll end on that. So all right, good for you, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mom, for not getting the solution. Whether a recent storm has damaged your home's gutter system or your roof requires an update, at Allen Construction, they are equipped with the tools and skills to accomplish any job you throw their way. Roofing, windows, siding, soffit and phasia, gutters and spouts, you won't regret calling Allen Construction. 412-954-8337 or visit allenconstructionpgh.com. That's A-L-A-N construction, P-G-H.com.
Schaefer Inc.'s primary goal is to deliver unbeatable quality for all your construction needs. They aim firstly to be a company that is principle-driven and achieve this by valuing the importance of ethical business practices, creating exceptional relationships with both customers and employees. Their high standards derive from a focus to detail and a priority on their reputation. So give them a call at 412-915-1694. 412-915-1694. Need a new retaining wall? Call Just Walls, 412-889-4401. They're fully insured and are the guys for the job. That's Just Walls, 412-889-4401. Need help with roofing, siding, gutters, downspouts, or soffit and phasia? You should talk to SNL or Modeling LLC, 412-628-9717, 412-628-9717, and tell them GFP sent you. Capizzuto's Pizza, 422 Greenfield Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA. Do you like pizza? Of course you do. Capizzuto's has everything you need. Check out their food by Googling Capizzuto's Pizza Pittsburgh and click on their menu. You won't regret it. You know them. You love them. They have been serving the area for over 28 years. Greater Pit Tree Service. They offer tree and shrub trimming, pruning, and removal. Have a tree that looks like it could be a problem? They'll come by and access the situation. Schedule your service today, 412-312-4651. Want to learn more? Check out their website, greaterpittreeservicepa.com. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. We're about to jump into what would Greenfield do? Whoop, whoop. What would Greenfield, Greenfield do? <laughs> Sorry. Whoop, whoop. My bad. <laughs> Good job, Kenny. Sorry, Jack. Uh, all right. Let's seat. see here what we got here. on. This. All right. Would you rather lose a finger... Or have a headache every day for the rest of your life. Lose a finger. I uh, there's not worse than having a headache. Yeah, yeah. You so, got you got ten of them. I I, right. I do. There, which one you want? To, can you pick which one? Yeah, I'll let you, you gotta pick go pinky. Pinky or ring. Pinky or ring. You yeah. Could do without. You, if you do pinky or ring, you could still do two in the you pink one. Yeah. Stinger. Still get them with the old shark. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Super shark. Yeah, get them with the old shark. <laughs> All right, would you guys... You annihilator, two and two. You, ever do that one? <laughs> yeah, you have a big two. anus for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you stretch it out. You, yeah. stretch you do it out. afterwards. That's a long, mar- that's a long marriage. Yeah. <laughs> that's a long term. If you're getting two in the stink... <laughs> Yeah, you guys really love each other. I'm not yeah. getting two in a stink. She's getting two in a stink. Uh, I thought clear. you were saying you were getting no, your root no, finger. No, 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 no. Yeah. I didn't know, Kenny. I was, hey, this is judgment free. Yeah, like, I'm not, I'm it's not like saying, whatever you're you know, into, bud. It's like playing your fitness, I'm buddy. Before <laughs> you get your asshole blown to smithereens, I knock yourself out. You I know like I mean? it like tender, not not penetrated. You know, <laughs> yeah. Work around the outside. Tickled, you know? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Play around the York. Exit on me, buddy. Exit on me. Ring around to Rosie. I don't even like people sticking their fingers in my face yeah <laughs> Tony, what movie is that Tony from Soprano. yeah <laughs> he said that in a psychiatrist's office yeah oh that was a good show all right uh <laughs> i used to get that when i had my hair i used to get tony soprano all the time instead uh, of tyson yeah? fury that really yeah well i have to show you my pit because i was balding and i was fat and i wore these <laughs> shirts you know Dude, you wear bowling shirts all the time. Yeah, what a collared shirts, you know, the button shirts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Result Rosado talking about that was funny as fuck. Rosado sent me a picture from Hughes Don Express. Express Outlet has the Tony Soprano <laughs> starter kit. Yeah. Perfect. Go it, down there. His exact print. Dude, I looked at them shirts and There's I watched There's a website print. with that too. Yeah. But dude, it was That'd like I'd buy a couple. It, it was, was like short sleeve sweaters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, like them fucking shirt his fucking shirts were like the three stripes were the greatest. All right. Would you rather let your partner? Oh, this is a good one. Would you rather let your partner choose every movie you watch or pick every restaurant you eat at? I, I would say one thousand percent pick every restaurant we yeah. eat at because yeah, I agree. A- Addy, I'm not my, like my girlfriend. She does. We've been together forever, but she doesn't pick bad movies. But they're all like. She'll say the same thing about me. She'll say that I watch the same movies all the time. I do. I watch The Town, Sopranos, and, like, Godfather. Like, that's it. But, like, she picks all these murder, fucked up mysteries, like, this shit that's, like, disturbing. Dude, like shit's at, like, five episodes that could have been maybe one. Yeah, like the, like that Natalia Grace thing. Yeah. All right, we get it. She was a little person. They thought she was older, and she wasn't, and she terrorizes people. Like, it's a, that's it. I, it's a four-second four summarized whole fucking it's a thing. It's commercial. And the dad's a fucking <laughs> drawn, like, the, the, the adopted father, the whole thing's about him being, like, crying. He cries the whole thing for fucking, <laughs> for, for fucking two seasons. He just cries. He's like, I just didn't know. He's dehydrated. 
A lot of crying. Like you and, and like not like knocking gay people. Like I, I thought for sure he was gay. And like you know what I mean? But like you know, then he said he was remarried and he loved the pussy. And I was like, all right, I guess he's not gay. But Al Pacino. Yeah, he gave <laughs> it. Yeah, I, I love, love the pussy. pussy. <laughs> And they but, could watch that one every time. Probably like, yeah, good. that's been on a lot. She would never pick out. I'd never get to watch Big Trouble in Little China again. Oh, I love the Big Trouble. You gotta in watch China. that. Like, uh, probably monthly. I'd rather we, eat. We gravel used to watch that like after we leave the bar movies. and go back to my buddy's house. That used to be a movie we'd watch a lot. <laughs> it was dude, a good time. Tro- dude, I'll tell you what. Fucking Tropic Thunder. I, I, I when I lived in a halfway house. I don't read a script. Scoop eats me. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. I lived in a halfway house, I was the uh, like you moved up. In ranks, like you were always just like a little, like a, a foot soldier, and I got elected to be mayor. You were a by, capo. You're like by capo, the, yeah. But by, by the end, I was mayor, and the mayor got to pick the movie every Friday. And fucking Tropic Thunder was there, and like I had my boys all on the board, like with me. So like <laughs> the I, city council, yeah. So like they would all vote Tropic Thunder, and people were, like hated it. And like I like that was the last time I got. I think that was the last time I got to a fight with someone. This fat dude who was farting all night, sleeping on top, be talking shit for us picking. Tropic up like thunder we got into a little tussle in our room <laughs> and uh you know because he was bitching about it. he's like how long ago was that it was a minute ago it was eight yeah it would have been eight years ago i went and that's what i was thinking about the shit with yosh like i don't even know the last time i got in a fight honestly <laughs> Dude, i'm too old for that shit i had to be i was talking to my cousin there was like I, I know he was he said it was probably 12 years ago we were in a bar some dude named ghost money Oh, a white gentleman. Ghost Money. Ghost Money. I he, know Ghost. He introduced himself as Ghost Money, and I looked at my cousin. I said, we're going to have to fight this dude. <laughs> he's a, the to- is he real like tall and skinny? No, he's a short asshole. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're playing darts, and he's like... Try to tell us how to play. I'm like, dude, come on. We're playing. Like, get, leave us fuck on. Yeah. Oh, I'll tap your chin, dude. I said, it's right here, you know? Did you fuck Ghost Money on. up? He lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like nothing to brag. It wasn't like it was tough. He just, he deserved it though. Right. He wasn't picking on a little guy for right. no reason. You weren't like chalking it up. Like it wasn't yeah. like a major victory. Yeah, I like... said, guys, look, either I underestimate you and a little guy embarrasses me or I have to fuck you up real quick. I'm going to choose opt- option B. <laughs> yeah. You should have threw a dart at him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A butt dart. <laughs> butt dart. Right fucking There's two of them. Thank you, man. Money. Fucking for knowing yeah. Yeah. Like, Diddy him up. There's like, two of them, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah. Kane, like, two in your stink, one in yeah, your eye. You like fucking for years ago. <laughs> You know, I gotta go to such great lengths. I gotta go to such great lengths to get back on a podcast. Here, I gotta pick a fight. (laughs) (laughs) Let one pick with me. This is why you don't punch down. (laughs) You know, like he he talks about me, I talk back. You should just ignore that shit when you're on top. That's right. (laughs) You don't punch down. Would uh, uh, Would you rather adopt a, a British accent every time you're having a serious conversation? This this is I don't like that one. I'm stupid. All right, would you rather laugh okay. would you rather laugh every single time you speak or have other people laugh at everything you say? That's the I laugh at everything I fucking say. Obviously I mean, you're a comedian. That yeah. would work well for you. Yeah, being yeah. an attention whore ain't easy. I know. <laughs> If you, what do you mean you don't laugh? It's like, uh, surely I could say anything and surely you'll laugh. I laugh surely. anyway, even if it's something Those serious. Those are good people yeah. to have around. You gotta That's have what around. I mean. Yeah. Listen, someone will tell me serious shit. I'll be like, oh, for real? And they're like, oh, I, I oh, told you, sucks. I told you, my sister died. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. man, that that's sucks. Crazy. Yeah, you got cancer. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, yeah I can't help it. That's how yeah. I fucking deal with everything. It's Dude, you're eagle, eagle tits. Right, got, I agree. Eagle tits got raped, and now he got AIDS. Surely <laughs> like, hey, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Some dortoise- <laughs> 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 dude put two fingers in his ass and threw yeah. a dart in his eye. Are you sure? I He's not sure. He's HIV positive. I hope you got off at least trying to peep on that dude. <laughs> <laughs> Eagle tits wants peeped on now. <laughs> yeah, he's mad because that dude didn't peep on him. <laughs> oh man. Well, dude, uh, big shout out to Kenny for coming this week. Thanks, brother. Yeah, thanks, really Kenny. appreciate it. Everyone, thank you so much for the continuous voicemails and support through the Patreon. Big comedy show this April fifth, this Friday. I mean, April fifth, up at Squirrel Sports Bar. Me, Billy Crawford, surely good, really good lineup. A couple other guys on there. Please come up, help support the podcast. Everyone, have a great week, and remember, folks, Greenfield loves you. We're out. <laughs>